Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avgardian welcoming you back to Victoria 3 with the 1.1.1 patch. Uh, in our previous episode, we continued to... Oh, we have new journal entries. Oh, this is cool. I have new options here. That's really neat. Um, okay. I definitely want to do this. But I do actually want to end monarchism if I can. But anyway, um, it's actually been a while since I've actually played this game. Um, I recorded like three episodes in one weekend, and then I've been pretty busy the last couple weeks, so here we are. Um, what are we looking at? Well, the first thing that we're still trying to do, still, is provoke a war and win a war with... Uh, in this case, Brunei. In all honesty, if Brunei backed down, I'd be cool with that. Uh, the other issue is that we have a revolution brewing because of our decision to accept parliamentary republic. And this is because the Buddhist monks and the landowners both really oppose it. Now, until and unless this gets to 100%, it's not going to trigger a civil war. Now, if it does trigger a civil war, most of the government will rebel against me. So we're going to keep a laser-focused eye on this. And if it doesn't start to go down, then I will be forced to pull back. Because I'm not in a position to fight a revolution right now. So we'll see what happens, though. I have some minor hopes that the Republic will kick in first, and we'll just see what happens at that point. Oh, I probably should mobilize if I haven't mobilized already. Oh, City of Plenty. What does this do? I don't want to increase the standard of living for the upper strata. Because I'm beating the minimum, but not by that much. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and let him celebrate. Have, have a nice party. They've also changed some of the logic about who will support whom. So we'll be interesting to see if anything changes here. Um... Okay, events, I love you, but you're far less important than watching this. Nope. I stop instantly. If that goes up one more tick, I have to abandon it. I hate it, but I don't have a choice. The alternative is civil war, and I don't want to mess with that. Um... Oh, I can sway more countries. What could I... Oh, I can't offer anybody anything yet. If I can sway France, I guarantee you that Brunei will back down. Um, overview. Oh, I can't even... I see, here it is. Do you want to mobilize all my generals right now? I mean, there's no reason not to. It'll get a lot more expensive, but that's all right. Um, what other laws can we pass? Oh, they also changed the way legitimacy works, where... Okay. So this happens when you have two different ideological groups in the same policy here. So the Constitutional Reform Party what if I just kick them out? Okay, apparently the trade unions are the problem. The trade unions will make people grumpy at this point. Um, which is kind of a shame. Where does it tell me what kind of ideology? Okay. Got proletarian, egalitarian, populist, and anti-slavery. I think because these are all liberals, and this group is probably a bit more in the radical section. But 
This is going to solve a lot of our issues, actually. And this should help increase loyalists, so that'll be nice. Okay. Now, with the political movement now gone, I should have a lot less to worry about. All right. So now this is when we tag in the countries that I can sway to my side. I don't care so much about Sulu. I care a lot about France joining. If I can get France to join, I might even be able to take something from the Dutch East Indies, which would be quite nice, actually. I wouldn't mind getting a piece of the Dutch East Indies. Um, let's go ahead, and once France is joined, I'm gonna add a war goal. To try to take, where is this country at? Oh, it's that itty bitty thing there. No, the Dutch East Indies is far more valuable to me. Um, oh, wait, doing the Dutch is in is actually in the French market, so the French might tell me to get fucked if I had a war goal. I want to wait till they've committed, which they should, and they have. So let me go ahead now and add a war goal against the Dutch. How hard would it be to make them my vassal? That'd be pretty dope. Oh, I can only vassalize Yog Yakarta. That makes total sense. I don't really want to mess with that. What do tree ports do again? Uh bypass treaties and embark terrace and embargoes I think I'd rather just take land so what is I could take like New Guinea and consolidate that These are the, this is what I want. I want West Borneo and I want East Borneo. And I'm gonna add Conquer State and East Borneo. Now if I take a quick look at my, what was I looking for? My infamy. So I click on my country flag. I'm still considered quite reputable. Um, I haven't actually acquired that much infamy, so I could even take more land, possibly. But I don't think that's necessarily critical at the moment. The Dutch East Indies are going to be better than me, so I might as well let France do the heavy fighting. Uh, at least in the early stages here. Um, oh, we have a public movement in favor of universal suffrage. I am more than happy to make that happen. I mean, unless it provokes yet another civil war, which is always possible. Like, the landowners are always going to hate it. I can't afford to piss off the industrialists right now. What other changes could we make? Um, the thing is, until I can figure out why they're so grumpy, I can't really do much to mess with, uh, free trade would make lots of people angry. What can we do? 
to make people less angry. Wow, right of assembly just pisses everybody off. You guys are all assholes. I want you to be aware of that. Like, you're all deeply, deeply grumpy people. Do I have a dedicated police force? Yeah, I do. I could go for a National Guard. That would reduce the power of future revolutions and would only annoy the intelligentsia. I think this makes a little bit of sense at least. Uh, so actually we're going to do more unpopular parties, unpopular policies later on. Then that could become a lot more challenging. We have the hand cranked machine gun. Oh yeah. Um, what do we want next? I really want to start making a lot of money again. Uh, remind me, does this use electricity? No, it uses coal and iron. Let's go ahead and start on that just because it's nearly done. And let's do some economic work at this point while we wait for this to continue. Innovation agriculture should follow their advice. I completely forgot I actually started African colonies for reasons I don't even fully recall. Um, so, do we, first of all, do we have any input goods shortages? We have expensive goods, which is small arms. Okay. And have some unproductive trade routes. Let's get rid of all these. And what are we presently building? We're building government administrations. Oh my god, what a quality of life change. It tells you where it actually is. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, I don't need government bureaucracy in Toka. I need Kanto, Chubu, and Kansai. So I'm about to go bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I can pick specific pages, which is pretty amazing. I like that a lot. But no, uh, we need to start making more money. And one of the reasons we're not making enough money is because of construction goods. We're saying a lot of money on steel and a lot of money on glass. We need to get both of those down. We're also not using the investment pool. Um, there must be something about government administration to say I can't use it. Let's go and expand both steel and glass production. That should help both make more money and help us out in a number of other ways as well. Now, glassworks. I could make bone china, but I don't have enough dye to really make that work. Um, oh, tooling workshops are could use a water tube boiler i'm not going to do that right now i think we're fine on the price of tools but i wanted to get steel and glass upgraded all right steel mills let's get a nice healthy nine ten there we go. And then let us also expand Glassworks and let's add them in Chubu. 9, 10, or two, 1, 2. Um, food industries, baking powder. Let's do it. I don't want to make even more liquor than I'm making right now. I think that's actually fine. Okay, so here is our issue is we still have way too many peasants. So we need to start getting them out of that. I keep saying that. Like, every episode, it is a consistent theme. But it definitely is a thing that we need to start doing. 
Um, we do want to sign some military uh, action. Actually, with being so reputable, I wonder if I could also grab the other bits of Papua New Guinea. I think I'd rather have sell the best, though. Wouldn't I? I mean, I kind of don't actually care. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I see they've already committed 16 forces here. Uh, there's an easy way to assign troops directly to a front. I think I need to actually do that in the military screen here. Okay. So I'm going to assign... to there. I'm going to assign you to there. There we go. Now, I have no idea how good the Dutch East Indies is as a nation, and that does cause me some concern. I'm not going to adopt state Shinto, because I don't want the monarchy. I want it to die. It's just not convinced. It's just not helping with that. All right, what are we making a lot? Ooh, do a promotion. Uh, you know what? You can have it. So, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to... Let's see, we have a lot of services, a lot of fabric, and a lot of grain. What are the impover... What are you spending most of your money on? You're spending a lot of your money on tea. Tea is apparently extremely expensive. Clothes are expensive. Wait, clothes are expensive? Like base level clothes are 26% or almost 50%. Oh my gosh. Uh, we need to get that expanded too. Uh, let's go right now to mechanized looms. And let's switch tooling workshops to water tube boilers. And let's definitely expand tooling workshops even more than we have already. Let's add one, two, three, four. And let's also definitely expand textile mills. Oh, no wonder that people are grumpy about this. Yeah, five. And then let's do one, two, three. There we go. So also we're making a profit. Um, I'm not sure what's changed. Yes, I do, it's because we're using the investment pool. All right. We are getting close to war, my friends, because I actually thought they might back down. Oh, I can't add more war goals now. I took too long, damn it. All right. So let's, uh, let's wait until the war actually breaks out. And then we're going to have to try to make a landing in Brunei. That is going to be the most difficult part of this. Being completely honest, I don't know how we're going to pull that off, but we're going to give it the old college try. So we're going to go to Navy. I've only got the one. And we're going to order a naval invasion of North Borneo. Um, which army do I want to send? I want to send one that's got a relatively... Yeah, none of these are big enough. They're all going to fail. Unless I can land without any resistance, that's going to be awfully challenging. I'm going to need to have the French help me out with it, but we're going to send the smallest one, which is Tori. No, I definitely don't have very high expectations of our ability to actually accomplish that, but we'll see what happens. 
we just have to choke him out through uh, through other means. Um, I don't really care who wins this one. I'm gonna back down. Or not back down to clear neutrality. Um, I need to get more small arms, but this is the bigger issue, which is that we don't have enough tools, glass, paper, or explosives. Um, all of which we can deal with, for sure. Uh, Kansai does not have enough infrastructure. That sounds like time to expand the railroad to me. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, because otherwise this just gets super annoying super quickly... I'm going to go into buildings, I'm going to go into development, and I'm going to set all railways to auto-expand. And... I can spend some wood for wooden passenger carriages. We can try to make them a bit more profitable. That's nice. I can do that. Have I already sent my military expedition and failed? Oh no, it hasn't gotten there yet. Okay. Five, four, three, two. And I just got instantly nuked. Uh, I am not surprised. Yeah, I just don't think it's going to be feasible to actually take Brunei because. I just don't have anything I can do about it. Oh, and I could add, send people to Eastern and Western New Guinea. That's actually a useful practice. Um, oh, you're the one who's actually fighting. Okay. I'm going to order you to come over here. And then now that the Navy is... Oh, I see. We do actually have the invasion happening. Yeah, so you'll notice instantly we got penalized very badly because we don't have a big enough Navy. But we're still winning anyway. Uh, which is very, very appreciated. <clears throat> I must have a lot more morale than they do. Oh, they're also conscripts. I see. Boom! And National Guard is now dead in the water. Um, that's fine. Everything's fine. So just like that, we now see that we're going to be advancing through this. And it should be much easier now. Um, how are things coming over here? All right. Stuff is happening. Good stuff is happening. You love to see it. Let's go ahead and get our Navy active. Um, we don't really care about escorting convoys. I'd much rather be aggressive and attack. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to patrol. I want to raid convoys. Oh, I love this change. They've now made this much greener um, path here. I'm going to go ahead and intercept them here because it's much closer to Japan. So I should be able to do a fair bit of damage to that. Um, okay. Let's... How is work on the economy coming? Excellent textile mills are being built, then glass and steel. Um, that should be good stuff for everybody. Yeah, Brunei is super screwed. It's just going to come down to can we get... Oh, they changed the screen around quite a bit. Only about half the battalions are fully mobilized. Um... 
This has a lot more information than it used to. I love it. This is really helpful. Um, if we go over to here... Their war support is tanking hard. Um, which is great news, honestly. Look at Brunei turning white. Very exciting. Um, better use of steel is going to be pretty handy. Let's go ahead and unlock pump jacks. This is more because I want automatic irrigation than because I care about oil yet, but I will care about oil very, very much in the very near future. Um, let's take a look at buildings. Things are being built, but I really want to focus on steel mills. Open hearth process. What well, basically what we do is we start using a bunch of iron instead to make even more steel. And that's wonderful. We need steel quite badly right now. It's gonna drag up the price of iron, but I can just explain iron mines later on. And so I, I don't have a problem with that. France did some conquering in Africa, good for them. This front has not moved at all. The Dutch East Indies are actually quite difficult. They're, they're pretty good fighters. How are you just mowing through me? Is it because... All right, well, we ate Brunei. We got what we wanted there. Let me... Oh, I see. Okay. How's Western New Guinea coming? Okay, we're making some real inroads there, too. I'm just trying to take the easy stuff for right now. But eventually, uh, their war support's going to fall a lot faster than mine. And that should hopefully soon give me undisputed control of the island of Borneo. And I can start eating the other miners a bit later on. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, go ahead and... Oh, you already have a port. Lovely. You also need a lot more tea. But for right now, what I'll test settle for is building a bunch of gold mines. Oops, I didn't want those at the top. I want those at the bottom. Um, oh, I'm not hemorrhaging money again. Oh, because I'm back to building government things. Yes. What are we working on that's expensive? Tools, glass, and paper are also really expensive. Oh, let's get that price down even more. And the good news is, is because they're adding these things, we should be making, still making a lot of money off of expanding them. Uh, give me two more in Kanto, please. Two more in Kansai. And they said paper's really expensive. Yeah, paper's got some really nice productivity. So there's absolutely no reason not to significantly expand paper mills. I also want to make tea plantations because uh, as you saw, the price of tea is quite expensive, but I don't know that we can grow tea. So we're going to have to figure that out. Oh, 
we're starting to win battles now, ever so slowly. Which is good. Now, of course, the bigger issue is the fact that we're not actually taking the war goal. But I'm not that concerned about that. Um, no, actually, maybe I should do a naval invasion there. Like, once we've finished up in Western New Guinea, we should automatically transfer. And that'll be a good time to, to make some effects there. Against the odds. They have fairly earned their success, so I don't care if it makes the petty bourgeoisie and the politists grumpy. They can go right to hell. Uh, no, my military is all very busy. I basically put everything there, which is fine. All right. I've got to make naval bases a priority in the near future, but I'm not that worried about it right now. Once we've taken all the western Papua New Guinea, then we can start planning a naval invasion of the bits we haven't pressed yet. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, the Netherlands' war support is crashing. Um, that's also a bug that they fixed, by the way. Basically, rebellions had, like, infinite war support, and no one could figure out why. Uh, now we know why. Um, okay. Things are being built, yes? Yes, they are. We're back to furniture manufacturers. I don't hate that. I don't mind that at all. Okay. All right. Tools and paper are still expensive. What is with our unquenchable thirst for tools all of a sudden? I mean, tool factories are stupid profitable, so let's expand you to 10. And then I will start building farms again, too. I've got to get people off of the subsistence farms. Um, wow, you could just record literally those two sound bites. I need a navy, and we've got to get people out of subsistence farms, and just, you could record your own video of my game. Um, I'm eventually going to want to start electrifying Japan. I think that's going to be a huge deal. I, I don't really care who wins this because none of them are going to actually back me. None of them are going to be my friends. States in turmoil. North Borneo, that's whatever. Oh, a uh, navy is becoming an issue again. Interesting. Yeah, I need to start working on railroad access. Uh, Chubu is also way too important not to have better railroad. There you go. Like, railway's got to come first. That's affecting market access, which means it's going to cause problems because I have enough infrastructure there. Okay, the price of glass finally came down enough. I could probably do some exporting. What do the people want? Let's see if anyone wants some porcelain. Spain does. You're welcome to it, my friends. Uh, the price of silk is just, like, bottomed out. Let's go ahead and sell some to the Brits.
and let's sell the bunch of fertilizer because the price of fertilizer right now is just not making enough money. Which means it's going to be harder to keep those businesses afloat. That should help us make more money too as that develops up. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. We just need to wait them out and eventually we will be successful. Oh, interesting. We don't have enough dye. Okay. Once my railroads are done, I'll start working on that too. We have a new political party, the Free Trade Party. Would they like to be friends with me? Oh dear, um, our government support has just collapsed. So we have, we don't have enough clout in this government. We can make it to unacceptable. Um, really? Do I? I don't want the landowners in power, though. I think the trade unions will make it easier to get stuff passed. That makes it better. Government ideology penalty. I see, okay. So these are like different things that people want that's kind of clashing. Let's confirm. I think we need to pass some laws to strengthen things. I wouldn't mind universal suffrage. Um, like, at all. I also have a bunch of authority to use. You know what? I want the Buddhist monks to be a fucking relic of the past that nobody remembers. I want them salted and nuked into oblivion. Um... Yeah, I don't want to piss off the industrialists at this point. They're a little too important to me. proportional taxation going to do that's going to annoy them would i even make more money i'd make a little bit more money not really worth it um i could go free trade that's going to piss off a lot of people though and that's really the issue right the issue is that no matter what i pick people are going to be annoyed I really want to get out of this, but I'm also concerned that the moment I propose it... We're just going to kind of be boned. Like, the people clearly want it. The problem is, is that the landowners and the monks don't. And landowners are really powerful still. So we're going to have to see if we can do anything to make that happen. Um, how is constructing going? We're still working on the railroads, as we should be. Uh, 
Oh, hang on. A boiler explosion. I can't annoy the industrialists. In fact, I want them to be stronger because they're likely to be... After the election, I'm hopeful that we can try to get some things a little bit better. What is the deal here? Oh, there's some mud. That's annoying. <gasps> I found oil in Chubu. Oh my gosh. That is wonderful news. Truly amazing news. I think vacuum canning requires electricity. Oh no, it doesn't. It just makes more stuff. Yes, please. Okay, I am legit excited about the ability of building oil rigs because that's gonna help us really hit hard when the economy goes into the game's like late stages. I like being prepared for that. Um... Do I crank it up right now? I've got a bunch of peasants here. Getting them to work in oil production isn't the worst use of their talents. So I'm just gonna immediately tell them, uh, once I'm ready, start pumping oil out of Chubu like it's going out of style. But that's gonna be pretty important to me. Small arms finally going down, or I die. Do I have my railroads yet? Yes, I do. We want rural. Oh, um, maximize all the things, please. We want some slaughterhouses. I don't want to do electric fences yet. I don't have electricity in a strong enough level, but maybe someday. Um, oh, it's an automatic irrigation. Before I do that, I'm going to want to make sure I've got engines going, but it is now a thing I can start working on. Um, yeah, that's going to cause problems. Give me some more dye. Uh, let's do um five at the top of the queue did that work did that do what it was meant to do it did not it put it at the end it can only do alt or shift not both good to know because producing more dye will bring down the price of glass right now that's the issue Adding and removing. Yeah, I do want to change laws. The problem is... I'm not sure I understand what it's telling me in this tooltip, though. Okay. So income taxes are too high. Understood. You've got a lot of people that are very different. So if I do this and I hover over this. Oh, that's the issue. Okay. Yeah, the industrialists and the trade unions just don't get along. And the armed forces don't really care about stuff. I don't really care the industrialists don't like it. I'm not doing militarized police. You can back. We don't have no schools. A lot of the problems having the trade unions in here with the industrialists. That's causing a lot of our friction. So I kicked the trade unions out. It actually makes legitimacy worse. 
y. I think it's because trade unions are too powerful. Um, so it's gonna exit. And I guess we try to work on universal suffrage again. That'll help with some of this. Uh, but it's gonna piss off the industrialists a lot. I think I have to soak it. Because if we don't find a way to break through this legitimacy issue, we're gonna have problems. Um... What is this about? I don't really care if there is a rebellion in Ching. So, y'all do what you want. That's not my problem. That is not my problem. Yeah, I kind of think this would happen. Um, the landowners really want to keep census suffrage because they know that the more people can vote, the weaker their power base gets. Okay. Oh, we have... Okay. Oh, wow. This has gotten even worse. And the thing is, I can't bring in the Buddhists or... The landowners. Yeah, I don't, I literally can't enact laws at all. Is it because the Imperial Rule Party isn't included? Okay, I guess that is part of the issue. But I freaking hate it. Like, I don't want them in the government. I'd rather bring in literally anybody else. Unfortunately, the only way for this coalition to succeed is if I bring in... I have to add the landowners, which is the freaking worst. But they don't want to do it because they're grumpy with me. So I'm basically trapped, and I hate that. I either need to kick somebody out of the government or need to bring somebody in. And yes, look, the Constitutional Reform Party has very little support. That makes it worse. This is the problem. And there's nothing I can do to make the landowners happy. Wow, I was reading a Vicky3 thread that said everyone hated landowners. I sure agree with that. Kicking out the trade unions makes it worse. I, I legit can't do anything about this. Because the Imperial Rule Part, Party will not join. They have no reason to. They hate me. Now maybe over time, they'll calm down. I need to get out of this stupid empire. I need to do a lot of things. But this basically means I can never pass any laws. Because it just stops because the government is illegitimate. But I can't bring people into the government either. I'll be realistic with you. I kind of want to provoke a freaking civil war at this point. Just to sh smack down the, the landowners once and for all. Um, oh my god. And they have so many powerful states. That's cool. Yeah, I've got to fucking stop trying to pass laws. And that is... Oh my god. Oh, I don't like that at all. I can't do it. And until the landowners calm the shit down... You know what? I'm wasting my, my power here. Oh my god, I was bolstering them, not suppressing them. What the fuck is wrong with me? Suppress the shit out of the landowners. We gotta shut them down. We have to make them a non-factor. Um, lead, coal, and hardwood. I can fix all of those. Maybe. Um, 
All right. Oh, yes. Coal can definitely be a lot more productive. Let's go ahead and find the coal mines that I've already got ordered and kick them up to the top. One, two, three, four, five. I think I actually also created a naval base, which is fine too. Um, do I have any lead mines being constructed? Because I need coal, lead, and what else? Hardwood. Um, how am I doing on lead mines? Uh, gold mines go good. Oh, logging camps. Uh, I don't have any electricity, so we can't do electric sawmills yet. All right. Um, wait, what is the deal here? Oh, I'm actually do have them being built. I'm just not building them yet. Let's get lead under control too. Oh yes, lead mines are stupid profitable. Um, let's get a bunch of them in Chubu. Jesus Chuba has a bunch of peasants, so this will just be better across the board. Russia, please no. Don't start shit with me. Yeah, if I actually take the provinces that are missing. Yeah, I think I've got to do it. Uh, let's do a naval invasion right here. And we'll send Ugaki. I wish France would fucking help me out and do their stupid naval invasion, but they're just not doing it, which is kind of lame. And I don't love our chances, to be honest with you, because I'm not going to have enough support for the actual naval invasion part of it, which means I'm probably going to lose it. Oh yeah, lead and hardwood are big issues right now. Oh yeah, I'm utterly dominated because I don't have the navy to support that shit. Um, I might just need to wipe peace out. This war can't go on forever. And they won't fall anymore in war support. Will they? Oh no, they will keep losing war support. I seem to be patient. Oh no, it is because I don't have shit. Um, do I start going f hardcore steamers, ironclads? I think maybe I do. Um, which is going to completely transform our naval capacities, which is fine. Um, game. We have, we are at an impasse. Naval bases get prioritized. I hate it. I mean, I sat here most of the game telling you that I need naval bases, but I genuinely do at this point. So let's go... Like, this isn't how I want my economy to run right now. But until I can get the Navy to actually support a naval invasion, we're screwed. Um, we're not going to be able to end this war. And I don't want to have to capitulate lose 10% of my fucking economy. So let's get building real fast, y'all. You've unlocked ironclads. Let's go ahead and pick up gantry cranes, maybe? No, let's go ahead and get the Jun Ecole. And I currently have 13 ships. As we build even more naval bases, that number will continue to go up.
Wait, France is out of the war? Oh dear, okay. Uh, I'm gonna need you to do me a solid and to keep building naval bases because the faster I can get this done, the better. Like, as much as coal is a big issue and will only become a bigger issue going forward. Uh, how big a navy do I have now? I now have 13. I could have up to 40 ships. That will take time, though. What, 40 ships? I could just turn them into ironclads, but I'm making ironclads, so that's an issue. Um. Like, they won't even take a white piece. Oh, no, they would take a white piece. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just take a white piece, get this war over with. And then I can start converting so that we have a better navy going forward. Country or class? I'd rather lose authority. Like, no hesitation. Propose peace deal. Alright. We didn't get as much as I wanted to out of the war, but we got enough. And now we can start converting over to ironclads. Which is going to be very good for us. Oh, uh, cargo port. Always cargo port. So we're going to go to shipyards. And we need to convert them to start making steamships. And we're definitely going to shift to military shipbuilding, so we start making ironclads. And then we're going to go ahead and change our navy to be ironclads. This will make them a lot more powerful um, and better qualitatively. An alliance with Seahawk? Absolutely not. I don't care. I need clippers and coal. Um, I shouldn't need clippers anymore. Oh, well, I don't have an industrial port unlocked because I need gantry cranes for that. We'll need to deal with that. I do need to start making electricity. Uh, clippers I can import. Coal needs to be built. I'm sure somebody has clippers that they'll sell me. Yeah, the French will do it. We're cool. I'll even import some from the Austrians and the Russians. That should fix the clipper shortage in short order. Oh, do you all need ports? You probably all need ports. Um, what are we presently building? We're working on coal mines and naval bases, and then we're working on a bunch of logging camps. Uh, is hardwood still a big issue, or is that... No, that market has... I see why. Because I was making more ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and cancel all this logging construction, because I just don't need logging right now. I don't really need fabric either. Here we go. Let's start addressing the other elephants in the room, though. Specifically that I need even more coal. I'm not able to provide enough coal. I think we have to get silly and just crank the shit out of coal production. We're going to do one, two. There we go. We also need to continue improving market access. Are we in fact auto expanding railways? We are. Oh, that's why it's not auto expanding it because yeah, that's fair. 
Con size is the bigger issue, however. We do we definitely need what is your deal here? You don't have enough coal. Okay, so coal's actually killing our rail system. We can fix that. We can 100 percent fix that. Price of coal is coming down. Excellent. We'll naturally start demanding more stuff once our Navy expands. That's just going to take time, though. It's going to take time to get all the naval bases to produce stuff. If I cut taxes, no, we'd go into the toilet, basically. Unfortunate. Wait, what the fuck is going on? France is fighting China. Wait, why would I support them? Wait, why am I being forced to support them? Yeah, I don't care. I don't want to get dragged in. I'd much rather somebody offer me something. Like, I'd kind of rather help France if France would give me something out of it. Russia's fighting France? Uh, I can't fight Russia. I don't have the military capabilities yet. Unfortunately, we lost some things there. Um, okay. How is our, our infamy is zero. Which means I can stir up shit here in Bull and Gum and continue conquering. Why can I not? Oh, do you like me too much? Or do I not have interests there? Let's find out. No, I've got plenty of interests there. Okay. I can declare interest in Indochina as a treat. And maybe a bit more of Qing, too. There you go. So why am I unable to do diplomacy on you, Bulangam? Oh, because you're a Dominion of the UK. Ah. I don't love that decision you've made. My guy. I mean, I guess I could just go after Bhutan just for the sake of doing things. Uh, let's do diplomacy. Okay, so nobody cares about Sambas. Let's go ahead and start a diplomatic play here. I'm hoping that for the most part, nobody will care. Like, I'm not even planning on mobilizing. I could get Spain to join me. I, I don't see the point. 
Because otherwise Spain fucking supports them? Why? What could you possibly have to fucking gain by backing them? Like, I can't fight Spain. They've got a much bigger military than me. And I don't want to back down, but I can't fight Spain. I'm going to see if they'll back down already. And the Dutch East Indies joined. I'm out. I, I don't want to lose my income, but I don't want to get dragged into a big fight like that. Not one I can't win. I'm getting real sick and tired of the fucking Dutch East Indies, though. Uh, I'm sick of them interfering in my shit, and they need to go to hell. Each and every last one of them. Well, my friends, on that somewhat ignominious backing down, I think we're nearing the end of this particular episode. Uh, we've actually made a fair bit of progress in some ways, and we're also set back in others. Um, the new patch has changed the way legitimacy works, and we're having a very difficult time getting a legitimate government. Mostly because the one party we have to have in there, the Imperial Rule Party, is really grumpy with me. Um, can I get them to join if they're neutral? I can't because, yeah, oh, because they're suppressed. If I stop suppressing the stupid landowners, can I get them into the government? I don't actually want them in the government, to be honest with you, but I would like to be able to pass laws that they don't care about. So there we go. Oh, I want to get rid of the, mon the monarchy so freaking bad. Yeah, the problem is the landowners are going to oppose, like, literally everything. Like, what if we had health care? Oh, the industrialists are the only ones that don't care about that. Private health insurance. Industrialists like that. I don't want to do public health insurance. I don't have the money for that. So what does this do? It basically means that rich people don't get hurt. I mean, okay. I don't care as much about pissing off the monks if it means I can invest more in education. And it makes the intelligentsia stronger. I'm all for this. Go to hell, monks. Uh, I don't care what you have to say. Okay, my friends, that will conclude today's episode. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the series thus far. If you are, please remember to like and subscribe. In the next episode, I think we're going to really try to focus on breaking the stranglehold the landowners have on our economy. Well, I think it's going to be very, very important and help us with that. But until next time, my friends, this has been Guardian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.